Hi guys, really not the kind of thing I normally fix. I went to put a new screen protector on my phone and the whole screen just started to lift like this. It was in a little cover so I'm not even sure how long, because the cover holds it down, how long it's been doing this. But the phone is working fine, um, just obviously the screen is lifting away. I was going to pull the screen completely off to redo this and that probably is the right way to do it if you can on your phone. But the ribbon cable in mine, not sure if you'll be able to see it down the bottom, is actually very tight, there's not much slack to go with and I'm really worried because the glue was quite still still quite strong down there that if I go pulling at it that I'll end up pulling the whole thing ripping the cable I mean right now I have a working phone so I mean the very least at the end of this I want to have a working phone bit of isopropyl clean off the old glue as best you can obviously this would be easier if I had the whole whole phone if I had the whole thing lifted off the whole screen this seems to be surprisingly common when I started looking at it which surprised me because I mean this has never happened to me before on any phone I've owned obviously you know this is going to be hard but just get as much glue off as you can the other thing as well depending on how long your phone has been like this wherever your camera hole is you want to make sure this is clean because obviously if dirt has got in behind it and you're about to glue it down, you're not going to be able to clean it. And you can see where you're kind of aiming for glue is around this, this edge of, you know, so you're going to lay it onto the frame, kind of, you know, where this edge is going to meet. Kind of, you can, it's very hard to get in camera, but there's kind of a little, a little ledge. You'll see it on your own phone when you're looking at. Now the glue I'm using is this stuff. There is other ones like this is a clear glue. There's a T7000. That's a black glue, but they're essentially the same glue with different colour in them. I'll drop a link uh, down below if you want to check. It. I got this on Amazon. It was only a couple of quid. I'm gonna get questions. I know saying, can you use super glue? I have seen people say they use super glue and it was fine, but it's not really the right glue for this. This glue is waterproof, it has a bit of flex in it. Super glue doesn't really have that. So obviously this is a little trickier because I haven't got the whole Also want to have a claw ready. Now I'd stay away from your camera, especially depending on the style of camera you have. You don't you don't want glue covering your camera. Now you've got about two or three minutes of this glue. I mean, you obviously don't want to go crazy with it, but you can wipe off the excess as well. You will have a bit of excess, that's nothing to worry about. Now, you want to use a cloth on the excess, do not use a tissue. The tissue will stick to the glue. We get fibres. The final thing I'm going to do on this is to put on some elastic bands just to help make sure that the, the screen is clamped down. It probably is a little bit easier if the screen is still attached at the bottom like it was there because it just drops straight back down into where it came from. Now 
and then come back and sort it out a bit better when it's dry if you want it just I like to stop moving the screen so the last thing I'm going to do stick on a couple of elastic bands just to help So it's working, <laughs> which is good, it still works. There. Now, if it's, I mean, if it's a phone you really don't care about and you've got super glue lying around, you can chance it. But it's not the right glue, really. Like, it's not flexible enough. Um, I would go get the right glue for a couple of quid, especially if it's a phone, like your phone that you actually use daily. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.